everyone, please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. I'm Teacher Sonia once again, and this is my channel, Live, Watch, and Learn. Please do finish the video until the end and learn something. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you pre-reading skills on how to prepare your students to learn to read. Welcome, parents and teachers. This video is intended to guide our dear parents and reading teachers in preschool, elementary, and high school as we implement our school's reading enhancement program. What is an ideal character of a reading teacher? Mind motivated to help a learner to read, heart full of compassion, and body ready to serve. There are six pre-reading skills every learner needs. Let's find out and learn from this video. Here are our objectives. Alert parents and teachers to any reading skills that may need extra attention. Help parents and educators know what to look for as a child's development is followed. Apply effective ways to assess learners' reading progress. Pre-reading skill number one, print motivation. Print motivation means being excited about and interested in reading books. Teacher and parents should read in front of his or her student or child. How to encourage print motivation? The more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. Make print visible to your child. Even if it is a grocery list, recipe, or email, show that you also enjoy reading. You may read some of the ingredients that you are going to cook for the day. Basic road signs. Curve ahead, dual carriageway, sharp turn, slippery, no U-turn, no entry for trucks and others. Read with your child every day. Or with your online reading schedule. Read with a natural but cheerful voice. Allow your students to choose his own books from the library or book basket. Help your student find books that are of an interesting topic to her. Pre-reading skill number two, narrative skills. Having narrative skills means being able to describe things and retell story or events. Ask open-ended questions while reading books. Use the five finger tips. Pre-reading skill number three, print awareness. Print awareness is not the same print and understanding it has a function, that each word on a page represents a spoken word. Print awareness also includes knowing how to handle a book, which side is the cover, how to hold the book, and how to turn pages one by one and which way to turn the pages. Point to words as they are read. Point out familiar words like your child's name or common public places. Example, Maria, Magic Mall. Pre-reading skill number four, vocabulary. In this sense, Vocabulary simply means knowing the names of things and connecting them to objects, feelings, or ideas. Sometimes, this is referred to as a child's oral language skills. How to build learners' vocabulary There are four ways on how we build our students' vocabulary. First, by listening then reading, next is speaking, and lastly, by writing. Read nonfiction books full of pictures, like Rizal's own story of his life and biography of Bonifacio for kids. Read picture books too, like A Day in the Market. Explain unfamiliar words while reading. Example, Cole is an inquisitive student. He 
he asks many questions. The underlined word is inquisitive. Which of the following words means about the same as inquisitive? Answer, question. Invite your child to describe toys or objects. Help him find the right words to explain something. During our online classes, as reading teachers, we may show some objects to our learners and let them say something about it. Pre-reading skill number five, phonological awareness. Phonological awareness is the piece that comes before phonics. It is being able to hear that words are made up of small sounds and playing with those individual sounds, the sounds of the alphabet. How to encourage phonological awareness skills. Challenge your child to change the beginning sound in a word or the end. For example, cat, fat, sat, or cat, can, to cap. Pre-reading skill number six, letter knowledge. Letter knowledge is understanding that letters look different from one another and have their own name and sound. It compasses everything involved in helping a child learn to identify letter names and sounds. Short vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U. These are the vowel sounds. A, A, Ant. E, A, Egg. I, E, Igloo. O, A, Orange. U, A, Umbrella. A, E, I, O, U. Long vowel sounds. A, E, I, O, U. A, Ape. E, Equal. I, iPad. O, Oil. U, Unity. A, E, I, O, U. How to encourage letter knowledge? A, B, C. Sing the alphabet song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. Teach name recognition, like Joy for a girl and Paolo for a boy. Read alphabet books. A, B, C, X, Y, and Z. Do alphabet puzzles. Challenge the child to describe the shape of the letter. What letter is this? Letter A. What is the shape of letter A? Triangle. Good job! This is letter A, shaped like a triangle. Point out familiar letters when out and about. No U-turn. What is the letter at the middle of this road sign? Letter U. Very good! Clever child. This is the end of our video. Do like and subscribe.